so this is our favorite place that we would come to probably once a week every couple weeks at least so here we are in our favorite place so to tell us one a little bit them, about this. Uh, one of them. It's not really my ideal spot. Hint, hint. Y'all know I really like to be up in the water. He got some trees here, so don't make that mistake again. Well, this is all they had. That's true. It was At the last short minute, notice. so. Yeah. Still nice. It is still nice. So this is a county park in Palm Beach County in Lake Worth, Florida. John Prince John Prince Park. Park. Yeah, and it's, uh, guys, super affordable. They've renovated a lot of it, so it's super clean. The bathrooms are brand new. Brand new. There's showers. Yeah, there's laundry. Laundry. You know what? We're going to show you guys. Let me show you a little bit about the spot. So, obviously, we have a picnic table. And good size pad here this is one of the kind of rare places that has water electric and sewer so it's got full hookups for being right by the water so it's kind of nice We've got these common areas. A lot of, lot of long-term people stay here. If you want to stay by the water, you have to stay two weeks is the most, and then you got to move inland, and then you can come back two weeks later. So if you want to come here long-term, you got to do some moving if you want to be by the water. Otherwise, you can get a different place, but. Like I said, it's a nice size. We didn't get to enjoy it as much as we normally do because we were watching our grandkids and spending some time with them. And, you know, that's important to us. So, let's see what Ruth is. Oh, there she is. So this lake, we're right next to an airport, which is over there somewhere. It's over there. And, this lake, there's a lot of jet skis, a lot of boats, a lot of people fishing. It's um, pretty cool. You see some alligators here and there. Which, so don't go swimming in there, yeah, at least I not, wouldn't. It's not made for that. So come on, let's show you some of the park. All right, let's go. All right, so. Here. So we're gonna go down a little bit down the road and, and give you guys a look. This place is pretty packed, being the holidays, it's always this way. There is a dump station. There are some pull through spots, as you can see here.
this park is pretty, like Ruth said, it's pretty inexpensive. Like 37, 36, 37 We still get the rate, even though we don't live here, we still get the rate of um, being a resident because we're in their system. But it's still, you know, maybe it's like five bucks more a night. It's reasonable. And that's Very reasonable. waterfront. We always stay waterfront. So I think it's even cheaper, just the regular spots. Maybe a couple of bucks more. It's not a whole lot more they have two um playgrounds i've brought my grandkids here they love it so it's a lot bigger than you think yep and i would take a chance so there's one bathhouse that is one of the newer ones it's, it's pretty nice actually no that's the older one that's the older one they, there's a brand spanking new one there's a pavilion over there this is one of the all in all for the money and to be in South Florida, there's not many campgrounds in South Florida. Nice ones. They're, they're a little off the beaten path. Um, you got to go way west. But if you want to be close to West Palm, we're like 15 minutes, 20 Literally. minutes from West Literally. Palm. Literally. And it's a great area. There's tons of stuff to do. Yep. Plenty of restaurants, um, Walmart, Home Depot, Target, all that stuff. I would just call. You have to call because you can't book online, and they, they're they really good, actually, of calling you back. This is one of the newer ones over here, too. This. Handicap showers here. Show. Handicap accessible, which a lot of places don't have handicap accessible showers. Regular showers, so there's one, two, three, four. Super clean, guys. Nice and clean. And they smell, they even smell clean. So you got one, two, three, four showers. So, guys, it is um, worth it so affordable and the area is amazing super quiet and it's also kid friendly and we'll show you the other playground too careful this way. yeah there's the laundry facility yep that's brand new Stop See this little playground? Oh, okay. Okay. Use this one too. There's the other playground. Which I love because my grandkids love coming here. They do have a storage area that I think if you get permission, you can uh, store here or a car carrier to get it out of the way. They might charge you a fee for it. And then oh, yeah. there is, yeah. there's a nice boat ramp and um, you have a boat, you oh, can yeah, bring it with you. This is like a peninsula that this campground is in. So it's pretty much surrounded by water, except for the airport, people fishing. Good morning. Let's go. All right, let's take a look at our weather forecast today. Today's forecast a lot of sunshine, blue skies, marine clouds. Just a perfect day to go outside and relax. That's your forecast. We'll be right back. Yeah, sunny day, sunny day, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but again, the way feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me because I'm gonna be on break. Sunny day, sunny day, baby. All the stress and doubt, yeah, not today. Sushi on a platter, ready, honey, it don't matter, shots Till I try, try, gonna be 24-7, hold an hour like a boss And they say, yo, yes, you got a two o'clock appointment for a champagne shop for So this is our favorite place that we would come to probably once a week Every couple weeks at least And we're, we were 10 minutes, 15 minutes from here And this is awesome I do miss this out of anything else I miss this. What about you? 
You know I do. It's my favorite place in the world, the beach. Yep. Maybe one day we'll be able to buy a condo down here when yep. prices fall, which maybe never because it's South Florida. That's fine. So guys. Bacon, Bloody Marys. I picked mine out, she still has hers. Guys, if you come to this area, if you come to the campground, you have to come to Lake Worth Beach. They have a lot of little, good, a lot of super cute like little shops and restaurants. But Benny's on the beach, which we are here right now. Their food is good, but their Bloody Marys are even better. Cheers. Cheers. Our last drink here. It's crazy. But, you know, we have a lot of these aha moments. And we share them with you. But we are and starting off 2023 exactly where we ended it. Where we and ended 2020. Or where we started. Where we started 2022. 2022 because before we left we came to the beach too don't you remember yeah so it's kind of crazy that's full circle and it's full really circle when we sold our house the last place we stayed the last place we stayed the campground, that we're, the campground that we're in right now and the last place that we came before we took off the day we left actually was this this beach you know. do you regret anything no I miss the beach. That's the only thing. Yeah, I missing, do miss the missing beach. Missing the beach is the only thing. I've lived in Florida since I was 13 years old, and I. We're gonna fix that one day. We're I am get, a beach person. We'll get some land near Tampa or something like that where we can go to the beach See more often. guys, look. Yeah, lots of bacon. We do like where we live. We do love our journey. If I could live right here on the beach and not have to go anywhere else, I would love this, but that's not realistic. No. But I love the mountains, I love the parts of Georgia we've gotten to see, the parts of the country that we've gotten to see so far. Do you regret it? Selling our house and leaving? We actually sometimes, on days where we find a leak in our black tank, by the way, there was no leak. Obviously, we miss our grandkids. That's my second regret. So, my second regret is the beach. My first regret, which really you can put them together because we had the beach and our grandkids, is not being near our grandkids. Good thing since we left, I have more freedom to do the things that I've wanted to, like volunteering, work more on my business, work more on myself. One is waking up in a different place. I would say the freedom to travel and for me to work from anywhere I want. Because I'm still in my territory, but I have the freedom to oh, wake look, up. We, we have a, um, a photo bomb. Let's change this. Yeah, just put it over here. The freedom to do this. To do our YouTube channel, to start a new business, doing you know production work, video doing video production. So I have the opportunity to do that. And you know, thanks to this one here. Because she just finished that Bloody Mary. But she's always supported me in anything I've done. And I think we've supported each other in a lot of things. So. That's my number one. Yeah. Sunny day, sunny day, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but I get away. Feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call because I'm gonna be on break. Sunny day, sunny day, man. Well, travel day, travel day. So we're about 15 minutes 
I'm gonna stop at a Cracker Barrel for lunch. It's easy in, easy out. I'm right by 95. Okay. Plus, we're meeting our coach, or our business coach, while we're here. So we're, what? How is it called? We're two stones, one bird, one bird, one stone, two birds. Killing two birds with one stone. There you go. <laughs> it was just funny watching you try to figure it out. <laughs> that Whatever. was pretty funny, wasn't it? You know what, Adrian? No, uh, it's not funny. It's not always funny. Here. See? Over here. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'll put whatever I want. Honey, honey, girl. We need gasolina and we'll get it when we stop. So yeah, beautiful Wish day. Wish we didn't have to leave because it's a beautiful day, but yeah, we didn't get to do much. This next destination is another of our favorites, Savannah. So we'll be bringing you along. So stay tuned for that one. Hasta la próxima. Until the next one. <laughs>